So here is an example of what a teacher workflow or like a model of how you can um, think a little bit outside of the box to utilize Moodle where you don't have teachers recreating the wheel all the time. So let me set the stage for this tutorial. So we have a category. So you could have, for instance, let's just say this, we'll use an example of a computer applications class. And so you would have like your main classroom website, and then you would have a subcategory, which would contain, for instance, different units and projects that you might want the students to complete. Now, those units and projects are, um, are separate courses that the students would enroll in. And these separate courses here, now I have some, I just put in a couple of uh, courses that I got off of one of the Moodle hubs. But um, for instance, let's say this was Microsoft Word. This was maybe PowerPoint or presentations. Um, you could have a separate course for um, uh, creating a movie or some type of a video in a computer applications class. So you would have the teacher be able to set up a very simple and easy to use social learning course format. And this is where the teacher would go to do day-to-day -day operations in the class. So they might post homework assignments, they might post notes of what they covered during class, and then throughout the course of, you know, their, um, f throughout the time in the course, you would, the students would be able to go in and work on units and projects that the teacher picks. So you can see over here, I created just an HTML block and linked to three courses that I wanted the students to enroll in and complete. Now the idea here is when they go into these courses, they get enrolled and um, upon completion, they get a badge. So, um, you know, the idea here is that when the student has completed the course, they show the teacher their badge. The teacher can then say that they've learned that skill or completed that project. And um, they don't have to recreate all of these units and projects inside their day-to-day their -day classroom course. What does this do? Well, it takes a lot of the um, burden off of the backs of the teachers to reinvent the wheel every time they create a new course. So when they create a new course, oftentimes they're scrambling to get their materials uploaded and created. In this type of a model, the teachers can get together and they can say, these are the um, units and projects that we want the students to complete. They can collaborate, they can work together to create each one of these units and courses so that everybody's on the same page. And then once it's created, every student gets the same experience. So um, you can leverage the power of multiple people working on the same courses. You can have um, courses where you have common assessments, that type of thing. So as you can see, um, in this course, it's real easy. It would do be mainly be used to supplement what's happening in the classroom. The teacher can post notes, post videos, um, add attachments, things like that. And then for projects and units, they come over here, they click on the links, it'll ask them to enroll. And once they enroll, they're into the course. They, they work their way through all the way to the bottom and when they're done, they get awarded a badge or um, some type of, of completion status that could be shown to the teacher. So that's one example of how um, we think that we might be able to make things a little bit easier for teachers. I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are.